Hi, I accidentally took the entire month of August off. I was tired, so I was just burnt out or whatever, but I'm going to let you know what I'm planning to read in the more immediate future of September and what I have plans for video wise. Because I've got some catching up to do. So I did accidentally take the month, not accidentally, I just kept putting off filming and filming and filming and sleeping instead because I've been tired, very, very tired, which is not like me, but mm, go with the flow. But anyway, um, it's not worth putting out videos if I wasn't into it, so I figured just we'll get back into it and now I feel like it, so. <laughs> And I've got to have a lot of catching up to do, which we'll discuss in just a bit. First, I want to talk about what I have planned for videos. I need to recap the month of uh, July, <laughs> whatever month last month was, and August. But I'm going to be doing a couple different video segments. It's going to be broken up so that it's not so like a 40 minute long video that no one's ever going to watch except for me. And I actually had a project that I had done in the month of July in which I copied Scott and Nell's video, um, video, I copied their TBR for the month and that was completed actually technically in the month of August, like August 1st, that very morning, but I did complete the project and I wanted to recap it because they actually went over it and I'm going to link the video down below. But they actually went over all of my Goodreads notes, and um, for the most part, they missed a book, but uh, for the most part, they went over my Goodreads notes. But I do have some thoughts that I would like to share on all the books that they chose for that month. I also read other books, though, too. I participated in the Booktubeathon. What the hell was that? Reading Rush. Um, you can actually watch my vlog about that. That was fun. And well, kind of, <laughs> I got some reading done. And also, um, I read an arc and I read a couple other books that just I just happened to get done that month, which was exciting. Now, part two, let's talk about what I'm planning to read for the month of September. Because there's just a couple books that I have in the works at the moment, and that's all I know what I'm going to be reading at the moment. Okay, so I've got two books, two book books in the works. Actually, I've got three book books. One's a short story collection, so we'll get to that in a second. Actually, this is, t these are technically short stories, they're essays. Technically short stories, if you really want to be like that. But um, I have actually read Samantha's other two books, and this is her first book that she put out, and this was actually republished with a different company and recovered and edited and I think she added more material. I'm already having a great time with this book. I've got a couple of tabs in here. I've only read one essay so far, but we're already having a good time. So there's that. And then book number two, I have The Faceless Old Woman Who Secretly Lives in Your Home by Jeffrey Craner and Joseph Fink. And this is about the, it's the backstory of a character from the podcast Welcome to Night Vale. And you're getting her details. Um, I've read so far the first couple of chapters and she is, it opens with her antagonizing Craig, which is a, one of the many people, including you and me, who she stalks at night and harasses and you know jokes around with and pranks but I just started this I'm already enjoying it so I hope to keep enjoying it. next we have um, a short story collection then I thought I was like halfway through this but I'm only like a third of the way through but I'm working on reading the uh, Philip K Dick's this is a collection of short stories I am enjoying these so Amber I'm enjoying these more than I enjoyed Blade Runner, like by a lot more. Um, although I am having, I find some of the writing quite distracting. Yeah, it's wicked windy. 
<laughs> I'm standing in front of a window, so see me doing stuff. But um, anyway, um, I am enjoying these a lot more than um, Dewey Androids Bream of Electric Sheep. And the so far, um, it's about like a, I'd say about a three, just because again, his I don't think his writing is very strong, and I don't know what it is with him and the adverbs, but it really distracting. Lastly, I'm actually, and I forgot about this, kinda, in the back of my mind, it's always been sitting there, I've invested in a copy of Count of Monte Cristo. Now, Ashley over at Books, the uh, Bookish Realm, she is, um, she has a Discord uh, page, I don't know what the hell that is, it's like a, it's an app on my phone, but, um, I downloaded it. It's like a chat room for very specific things. And she set up a Discord for The Count of Monte Cristo, which was, we started reading this in July. I did not, I am playing catch up. I did read the first part in August and I have to renew, I've been listening to this while I work. It's the one of the worst audiobooks that I've consumed is it's just, and I actually downloaded, I tried two different versions of this book. Um, ugh, they're not great, but they're, it's listening to text, so I'll, I'm surviving. But so far, I'm only at the first. We have, um, this is broken up over the course of six months, so we're not going to finish this. It's like 1,200 pages. It's almost 1,300. Oh, well, no, it's 1,200 pages. There's a huge lot of notes in the back, too. It's 1,200 pages. But this is probably the longest book that I've ever consumed ever I think I don't remember Les Mis I don't know how long that is I don't think I own a copy of it I know I own a copy of it but I think that it's in storage in the basement but anyway I have completed the first section and I do have some thoughts on it but no one seems to be talking on those notes anymore but I'm behind so I'm gonna try and catch up in the next um, I should be able to catch up next week uh, that's pretty much everything. I, I feel kind of bad because I did make a TBR for the month of August and some of the books <laughs> you see, I'm just going to show some of the clips from that and um, you see some of the clips that, some of the books that I did plan to read in August. I mean, I started them technically, but I didn't get through them. Uh, but I had planned to read quite a few books. Uh, last month and I got through some but mm, that's it for today and I will be back with a few reviews for you so until then I thank you for watching and I hope that you like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll be seeing you around